Good day. As you can see, I live in a bit of a bushfire trap, so therefore I've got to have my own firefighting services. Thus and because I am currently recharging the solar powered firefighter. As you can see, it is a bit loud. 12 volt electric air compressor, feeding compressed air into a 100 litre airport firefighter. It's been pulling out of that battery for half an hour. The battery's had a week under the Mark 1. Before that, the battery had been out of service for a year. Prior to that, it did six months in my power shack. And before that, it spent seven years in a New South Wales government fire brigade truck. This is the Mark 1 Sunfoil banked west for afternoon use. A quarter of an hour ago it had 22 psi in there. Now it's on 36 psi. And it doesn't matter if we flatten that battery. Well, it's starting to labour. And the voltage has dropped, so I might just call a finish to that. See the battery come good when the load drops off. Well, 40 pounds per square inch is probably enough with only 80 litres in there to give you a bit of an idea of what it does. Okay, so let's see how this thing works in real time. The theory is, yes, turn on the air there. Collect the little hose. How's that? Compressed air firefighting, solar powered. And yes, we have wet the camera. Do we have a firefighter or do we have a firefighter? And I'm working the rust out, so this is going to keep going. Pretty cool, isn't it? Let's just hope I haven't killed the camera. A lot more water in 80 litres than you'd think, isn't there? Oh yes, the nozzle's working much better now. Especially designed for fuel fires. And that's how you know you're out, running out of water. <laughs> 